Hey there, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own planner stickers if you do not have a silhouette machine. So I personally recommend using a silhouette machine because it is a lot more affordable, but if you don't want to invest in the machine, you wanna try out if planner stickers are the right fit for you, if you even like planning with them, then this is the next best alternative. So I did another um, video where I showed how to use the Avery um, like WePrint option where you design it on their tool and then they will print the labels for you and ship them to you, which is quite an expensive option. The cheaper version is to go onto the website, find the label that you want to use, go buy the label paper and then print it yourself at home. It's much more affordable and you also have a lot more control over the design because you can download the template into Word and pick different ones for the entire sheet. Um, you know, you could have five different designs rather than just the one. So the one that I recommend you use is this one here because it's not too big, not too small. It's 3.8 centimeters by 2.1, which is a pretty good size that will fit most planners. Now, it doesn't really matter so much if you're using a horizontal planner, um, you know, like labels look good in that, but if you've got a vertical one, the size is gonna matter. So make sure that you measure your planner first before you choose one of these templates. Make sure that um, it's not too wide for the columns, like you don't want any of the label overlapping into the next column, which is going to feel crap. So make sure you measure it up before you choose what template. So when you pick one, you click on it and then go to this page here where you'll have the option to download. This will then download the template um, into a Word document and this is what it will look like. So the way they've set up these templates, it's really easy to use if you've not got any graphic design experience or you've never used Word before, it's okay. It's super easy to use. Um, the way they've set it up makes it really easy to change colors um, of the stickers as well. So good uh, beginner option. So let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. So if you click in these labels, you'll see that you can choose what you want to go in there. So let's say that you were um, a student and you wanted an assignment due sticker. So I like doing text in uppercase because I find it stands out more, but you can do sentence case if you want to, um, you know, with like due and then the next characters in lowercase totally up to you so let's highlight this text to make it bigger because I really hate when there's a small text it's kind of annoying my pet hate so if we left click and drag to highlight all of this text we can then increase the size now word actually allows you to do a lot more things than you would expect um, like yes it's a word like typing um, thing but you can still change the font style the font color you could do a background color for the entire sheet I'll show you how to do that in a sec or you can choose different background colors for each of these um, little labels. You could do colored um, text on a white background, which is very print friendly, or you could do um, white text on a colored background, which really stands out, especially if you're doing um, color coding, like Bill Juice stickers. They always look really great with lots of color on the background, really stands out, um, especially if things are due, like due dates. Um, or birthdays, that kind of thing. And you can also change the font style. So you can use the default fonts that come with Microsoft Word, or you can download fonts. So some of my favorite places to find fonts are the font, font, font zone and font squirrel. And there's tons of free fonts out there. You don't have to pay. There's tons of free ones um, that are brilliant. So I definitely recommend you download some. They'll look really cute rather than just this plain um, text here. Okay, so say we've got our assignment due and we want to change the color. So if you left click and drag to highlight all of your text, normally I would say press control A, but with these templates, it's going to highlight the entire sheet. So if you did have one where you had it over the entire thing and you wanted to change all of it, change the font style or color for all of it, then you could do that and then make all your adjustments up here. But if you didn't, you just left click and drag. Okay, so I want to copy this one to this entire row because I've got lots of different subjects and I want to color code um, assignment due for each one in a different color. So press Control C and then clicking next one and press Control V and just keep doing that the whole way along. Now I want to change the colors. So just like we did before, pick all your different colors. Oops. And then if you want more options, you can click on this doobie here, this more colors, and then pick from all of these ones here, which is pretty awesome, lots to choose from, or you can just pick from the color wheel, which is a lot um, easier. Hmm, I quite like that pink. I don't recommend using yellow, I just hate yellow. It doesn't stand out, especially if you're doing yellow on a white background, just ugh, don't like it at all. Um, that's my own two cents. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Now, let's say you wanted to do some other stickers. So, hmm, you could do a happy birthday or like your mum's birthday. Um, I like that these templates also push the text onto a next line so you don't have to do it for you, like it will automatically do it. So if I increase the size of that, you can go pretty big and bold. Um, you could also do rainbow text. So you could go blue and then you could alternate orange for like every second letter. Um, that's one option. Or you could do multiple colors. So you could go blue, yellow, green, and then uh, purple, and then pink. You get the gist of it. You could do rainbow colors. Um, if you're doing a themed spread, that's an easy way to add a bit of color um, to the page while still keeping the sticks functional. I'm super into functional planning. I do not do like decorative, decorative stickers with those little characters on it. Hate them. Everything has to be functional if it's gonna go in my planner. Um, and stickers save space and look cute and are functional, hence why I like them so much. Okay, so some other options you could do um, like 10 days till your vacation. Um, just throwing some ideas out there. You could do deep clean the kitchen. So if you had things that you only do occasionally, like say quarterly, this is a good option because you don't have to go buy an entire sticker sheet from a shop, which like an Etsy shop, which then you might not even use. So you're making the things, the stickers that you want and that you need, you're not wasting anything. Um, so I these are a good option if you don't wanna make your own, this is like the next level of custom. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different types of stickers that you can make. This video is gonna be really long if I start doing like the whole sticker sheet and different stickers. I'll have a list of some different ideas that you can do um, below this video if you need some inspiration, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, you already have some ideas in mind. So let's get to the coloring part. So let's say that you wanted the background of this sticker to be a color you just click up here this little paint bucket tool now do not fret that it's a square and the stickers have round rounded corners if we zoom in we can see that it covers the um, label so when you print it out it's gonna cover the label um, with the color not any white background but because printers can be prone to slipping depending on what printer you get they can be a little touchy so to get around that if you go to design page color and then you can select from here to fill the entire sheet with it no it's not as print friendly or economical as just doing a white background but it looks way better so to me it's worth it um, and then obviously you want to change the text color because that doesn't have a good contrast i always do white with a colored background it really makes the colors pop like look how good that looks love it okay so that's a few design ideas, just throwing them out there for you. I'll have um, a screenshot when I fill this out with some more designs um, and I'll include that in the blog post to give you some ideas as well. If you um, do want to learn how to use stickers using the Silhouette machine, then I do have an e-course where I teach that. So you'll need the Silhouette Studio software, which is a free download, and then a Silhouette machine. And if you want the tutorials for that, I'll include the link to my e-course below this video. If you want to sample and you want to have a go at using the studio software to see if it's easy to use, which it is, um, then I'll include the link below to a sample lesson from my e-course, which is how to make header stickers. So if you have like your titles for using the Erin Condren or you want to do list making or basically any type of phrase like this, then you can use um, that tutorial, which I'll have linked below. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll include the link to the other one that I did, um, which was using the WePrint tool on Avery, if you're interested in that one. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more planner related videos. I usually post a new video every week. I'll see you in the next one.